never a dull moment here. Look what Jeremy has. Did this, you just find this guy? Yep, this is a hybrid rat snake. My chickens have not been laying where they're supposed to. And this is another good indicator that they're not laying where they're supposed to. I'm finding rat snakes. Uh-oh, he's opening his mouth. Oh yeah, he wants to take a bite out of me, but he's non-venomous. You just grab him right by the no. neck. So if he, if he does bite me, what's the maximum damage? Uh, you'll just bleed a little bit. It'll break skin and you'll bleed a little bit. Your capillaries, that'll be it. Yeah. But once all the other snakes smell that blood, oh, you're gone. I'm so stoked to be here, guys. We're gonna have an we amazing just got adventure. Here. Wait a minute. She's we kind of. It, it's funny because every time we come out here, we sort of have a plan. <laughs> But it doesn't usually go as planned, so you know we kind of just go with the flow. It's going to be an amazing day. I can now already I can feel the excitement I'm building. Not we have made it to Otter Creek. We are headed back the lane. Are you excited for a very adventurous day, Lise? I am. I'm already on the alert for wild boars and. Chickens and, and ducks. Chickens and ducks. And alligators and maybe that one elusive otter. And I did see a video he had lately with snakes. Ah! That's yeah, there was a water moccasin, guys. It was a big moccasin. So hopefully we won't cross paths with him today or her. But very excited to see what we do run into today. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Look how big the ducks have gotten, guys. These are the little babies. You guys are getting so big. I, I just noticed they actually have like green hues in their feathers on their backs. Isn't that cool? Got some crackers for the quackers. Come here, baby. Come here. Crackers for the quackers. I just want to show you first and foremost that the official scent here at the Hales Ranch is repelled. This is actually a natural plant-based lemon eucalyptus insect repellent. So we're going to see if it works. I'm just going to go ahead and... <laughs> You're just gonna do it like this. If it can beat the bugs here, it can beat it anywhere because they have some. Yeah, big they got like seriously, Otter Creek bugs. mosquitoes are no joke. I can smell it, so hopefully that'll work. What is it? Lemon and eucalyptus. You know what? What do they say? Spray it and walk through it. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> Not breathe. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, there we go. So guys, we are headed over. Okay, well, when I say we, I'm using that term loosely. I mean me and you because Lisa is afraid of the pigs now. So <laughs> we're gonna go over here. We are going to give them some crackers because they're not only for the quackers. What's up guys? I'm not gonna go in there with them. I'm just gonna feed them through the fence and see what happens. Hey! Well, there's Beauty. Hi, Beauty. Who's this? There's Burnt Bacon. She's the one that got Lisa good. Oh. Burnt Bacon's the aggressive one. She's the aggressor. Nothing but snout. Nothing but snout. What you guys doing? How do you like your ball? I seen you got a ball. Go play with your bow a little bit. Go play with your ball. I mean, kind of you're playing with it, but it's more just rolling around on its own. What is it? Really? Wow, is that right? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you later, okay? What could we have here? Hi, baby. What you doing? You probably would like a cracker, wouldn't you? I'm gonna feed one to the chicken. One for you and one for the chicken. How about that? All right, here you go. Here you go. Last one. Here you go. You want some? Here. Wait, you want some cracker? Here. Here. Okay, yeah. She likes it. She likes it. Those are special organic sesame seed crackers. Only the best for the Hales chickens. Well, you enjoy that, and we'll see you later. We have some adventuring to do. Some treasure hunting to get to. Trying to avoid any snakes. I'd rather not run into one when I'm by myself. Just saying. There's the chickens. Hi, guys. There's a ginormous killer bee. I'm not sure what that is, it's some type of wasp. Whoa, he's big. All right. So we are headed over here, guys, to the pond. Hopefully none of those wasps are in here. That would be horrible. You guys didn't invite me to the duck party. I didn't get invited? Really? What's going on adventurers? So we are so excited to be back out here at the Hales Ranch. Right behind us is where we were last time, where the flower pots are. And it was a little bit overgrown for us to get back there. We're gonna make another attempt. We're gonna try to see if we can get through it. How are we gonna get through it, you ask? Let me show you. Oh my goodness. I'm going in. It's got heavy machinery. <laughs> a lot of you guys actually wrote to us and said, while you're there at the Hales Ranch, maybe you could help clean up a little bit. So we're not, we're gonna do our part. We're gonna try to clean this out a little bit, make a nice path. What's behind here? The flower pots. We are going after those flower pots today. We're gonna see what's in there, guys. I can't promise we're gonna be able to do it. You know, you don't know what you're gonna run into, but I can promise we're gonna give it a try. And so. the little uh, pond is behind that. If you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but once she trims it, I think you'll be able to see, but and the other problem is danger level five. There's a dock back there that is totally rotten. I'm gonna get to work here with this hedge trimmer and we're gonna see what we can do, guys. I can't promise, but we're gonna do it. Let's go. Here she goes. That was easy. <laughs> if only all of it was gonna be that easy. It's the warm up. This is the warm up. We're getting ready to get into it though. So, I don't know, I'm not an expert. I don't proclaim to be an expert trimmer of trees or bushes, okay? This is, this is just a side hustle. Is it a side hustle? Huh? <laughs> Ooh, that was nice. nice, pretty sharp. It's almost a chainsaw. Let's see what happens if it's I- It's safer. It'll, Please. it'll, Jen! <laughs> Why do you do this? God, this is the second moment. We've been here like a half an hour and I'm already, ugh. Really? So I wanted to actually get a mini chainsaw, guys. I actually reached out to a company and they're, you know, we're, we're having communications, trying to see if maybe they'll sponsor us to come back out here and do that a little bit. Um, those things look awesome, by the way. But we happen to have one of these laying around at the house. And Lisa said, why don't you take that? And I said, you know what? We will, and we'll see what we can do. That one might be too big. Then watch out! Gotcha. <laughs> I got her, guys! All right, Gen 2, Lisa 1. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, maybe not a good idea while I have I waited till it was off. I was playing it safe for you. Oh my goodness. I might get tangled. Might need the loppers. I don't know. Go for oh. it. You can try it. 
It's well, easier with, it's faster with a. Let me know if you see poison ivy, because I don't even. I I'm, you're pretty good here. I've saw it in other areas, but okay. this, this looks okay. Okay. I mean, it's. I am sweating like crazy right now. It, it is very hot, guys. Well, notice we're wearing pants. This is our mosquito uniform. This is the, the creek uniform. We've got to wear <laughs> the longer pants. you got to protect your everything. And, uh, you know, of course, we have to douse ourselves <laughs> with mosquito repellent. It seems to be working, actually. It, it does, but you know what? We haven't gone back to the creek yet. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. That's the ultimate. That's killer, thing. yes. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Oh, that was good. Who's winning, the bush or Jen? Let's see. I don't know. Oh, she got her. She wrangled a pretty big branch. Look at this. Wow, nice one. Oh, I'm seeing daylight through there a little bit. She's making a dent in it. See, all this is yeah, that's too. yeah. Good job. Do you see the sweat that is just like glistening off of my face? Woo! And I thought our bushes at home were bad. This is crazy. This is what it's looking like so far, guys. Check it out. Like we actually are making progress. We're making progress. There are... Wait, I think there were two pots before. Where'd the other one go? Weren't there two pots here? There's only one. Yeah, I thought there were two. That's weird. So these are really clever. Like, you can actually extend them. Maybe. Oh, extend right. them. However, they're supposed to lock. Oh. And they don't lock all the way. So it's going to be. Well, that one. Oh. oh gosh, that <laughs> was dangerous. It is dangerous. So be careful. Whoever makes these, <laughs> of course, they don't have their name <laughs> on the actual piece of equipment because they suck. Okay, watch let's the holes. Just, let's try not to do that again. This looks dangerous. So let's just let's do this. Oh, another big brain. can also use it as a pickup. Oh, I see. I'm starting to see th things you back see here. A pot? I do see a pot. Yeah, you're close. Just watch the holes in the oh, deck. What, was that? what? 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 Freak was that? Oh, shoot. I don't know. Something big. And it went back in the woods. As in with feet? I couldn't tell. Oh, shoot. Where'd it go? Which way? Left or right? Towards the water. Oh. I might have caught it on camera. I don't know. I was filming. I didn't. I didn't hear a splash at this point, but well, there was no splash. it might be on the bank. Or it might have gone down in that hole under the pier. There are some big holes. What the freak is that? I don't know. Wow, the water is really dried up. Which is weird because it's been raining. Do you see any creatures? Um, I don't. <laughs> was it bigger than a squirrel? Concern is it might have been a, walk, a water moccasin. Oh, could have been because that pier is very enticing for snakes with all these holes. Maybe Jeremy would want to look. And they do like to live in like things like those pots, they curl up in them. I'm gonna go right back down in that pier. See those holes? It went that way. Oh, well, there's an embankment right there. Of course, snakes don't always splash, they just kind of slither. It didn't splash. It, I don't think they splash all the time either, anyway. Did you see that? I was filming, so I might have caught it on camera when you, I mean, unless you were blocking it a little, but I mean, I had the camera right on that area. I'm a little afraid now. Yeah, and they might be in those pots. And look at the holes, see the holes? They love that. Could be a whole nest in there. You never know, you know? 
freaking Indiana Jones territory. Did you touch the pot or just the tree? Oh, the tree. I was trimming the branches. Wait. It got disturbed in there. I'm telling you. <laughs> this sketch. Well, maybe we should wait and deal. But at least you got it. pots exposed. No, I need to keep going. Jeremy needs like a big piece I of... I mean, it ran away. I know, but there could be a whole family. You know how that works. Guarding its nest or whatever. I don't know. It's summertime in Florida. <laughs> I feel like there were two pots there. Is there one on top of the other or is that a cinder That's block? A cinder block. Okay, I see. I, I feel like there was two. I feel like there was one right there next to it. But the no, brand it was on top of it. Oh. It was stacked. Okay, guys, so I don't know if you guys saw what I saw. I was probably in the way. But there was just something back here. Like right in this area. It, it was an animal. And I don't know where it went. It went it went back that way. I don't know what it was. I need something to grab this thing. Because, <sighs> see, right here is where the, the decking gives out. I need to try to get up a little closer. All right, let's see the loppers. Yeah, I can see right through that grid, the dock grid. We're going to do this today, guys. We are going to do this. I'm determined. Unless something really bad happens, which let's hope it doesn't. But I put on my regular glasses. It's dark back here. It's hard to see real well. And that was part of the reason that I got so scared because I could not make out whatever that was that moved back here. I'm kind of concerned about this too because like if I go to run out of here. Yeah, I'm maybe you should trim that escape route. This uh, is the. Grow back, right? Oh, yeah. These, these bushes or like weeds they just continually grow no worries we're getting there guys i don't know what that was man. i don't know <laughs> trying to see if i can like i mean it could have even been a small gator i don't know could have i couldn't tell my muscles are going to be sore tomorrow guys what's that noise clicking an alligator is that a gator i don't think so running is usually gators as we heard in Inverness the other day Sound like a bird, maybe? I don't know. Jenna's commandeering some more equipment to get to these pots. I'm serious. I've never seen such a difficult area to just to get a pot, ceramic pot out of. But we're talking like all kind of danger. Oh, what happened? That oh, seems he it's really heavy. Oh, this pot is not only a pot, guys. It's full of dirt wet dirt it just rained it just stormed here so it's soaking wet can you take that shovel on the ground just make sure it's not hollow there like tap the in front of you okay is it solid yeah, I think so. yes a little bit now we have the pot. two feet closer anything moving wow. is anything oh Carol. got it this time guys look what she's got <laughs> a pot in tow now good job so what do you think the best way to do it? Just kick it over? Just make sure that first there's no snakes in it. I don't yeah, see. Yeah, I'm going to kick it that way. Okay. So get ready to run in case. But I doubt. I think they'd be on top, but you never know. They, think so. they can scroll down in there. Like, I call it scrolling, but what is it called? Snake down. Snake down. All right, guys. Jen is going to handle this pot. I think I'm finally ready. It's been probably two months since we first discovered the pots. Jeremy noticed them, actually. And he said, next time. And this is part of what mystery? The missing ninety plus thousand dollars. It's insane. So this could take us one step closer, guys. Well, Jeremy said this. The story was the people used to sit at this man-made pond they made, and as you see, there's a table and things. Everything's deteriorated, but it was basically a favorite place. So that's why, you know, we had the inclination. Maybe they buried it in these pots by their favorite. Oh, relaxation area. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I might just have to kick it over. That's not working at all. What the heck is this? Ooh. Does it is say something? Root? Yeah. It's cracked through. This thing is heavy. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, okay. Came back at me. Oh, yeah. Get up close. Okay. And it just snaps back on me. To loosen up the dirt. Man, wouldn't it be something if there was like a 
a bunch of money in here. Okay, I'm just gonna have to flip it over. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's slimy. It's so slimy. There we go. Ooh. Let's see what you got. Smells a little moldy. Hold your breath. Yeah, I smell it. Yep, there's nothing in there. No. Just... Well, that's a bit disappointing. What's that, like a chimney brick? I don't know. That's brick. That's not I'm a cinder. Out what it is. We thought, thought it was cinder block, but that looks like chimney brick to me. What the? Why would there be a chimney brick there? I don't know. That's weird. Too. I mean, that's masonry. There's it's... another one over here. Oh. Like Maybe they had a pole, like a railing or some kind of structure here. It's just like a... When you go to a ruins. At some point, whenever they decide to remove this deck, I'm sure they're gonna do that at some point. They're probably gonna remove it and then maybe do a new one. Yeah, I'm sure um, fix When it. they do that though, maybe we could help and maybe we could go just kind of like dig around underneath of where this is. It's too dangerous right now. No. It's just too dangerous. You can't see. So there's bricks in here, guys. And then also there's another one right there. So, I mean, this one's like moved, so I, it makes you wonder if perhaps somebody put something underneath of it. That's going to require a lot more like <laughs> bush hedging and stuff. It, it's really back there. And there also looks like some type of a nest back there right behind it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me zoom in so you can because. See that hole back there? There's definitely something living back there. So I don't want to mess with that just now. It's too. It's too active right now like maybe in the winter time this is where we would like to look in the near future or whenever they get around to it you know the refurbishing of this area but look at that isn't that crazy it's kind of sketch uh jeremy said him and george both fell through at one point so that's kind of scary so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna take this pot i might take it right over here jeremy has his um plants from robbie's uh, that they they received when the nice man uh, passed away. I might take it over there. Uh, he might want to replant one of his plants into this pot. So I'll just go take it over there and leave it there for him. Never a dull moment here. Look what Jeremy has. Did this, you just find this guy? Yep, this is a hybrid rat snake. And uh, he was actually, he was up in the rafters in the pole barn. Was he really? So what, what happens is they're actually coming around here because they want the eggs. And oh. right now I'm searching for eggs because my chickens have not been laying where they're supposed to. And this is another good indicator that they're not laying where they're supposed to. I'm finding Rat snakes. Uh-oh, he's opening his mouth. Oh yeah, he wants to take a bite out of me, but he's non-venomous. Won't be an issue. He will He will cause me to bleed if he gets a chance. Huh. I got bit by a five foot, five inch one a couple, well, about a week ago. Maybe, yeah, a week ago, it was, it was, a, it was a week ago. So he'll, he'll cause blood, which is why I kind of got him right by his head so he can't get a bite on me. But, um, that's what he's doing. He's trying to actually, he's trying to get trying to steal eggs and I'm trying to figure out where my chickens are hiding them I don't see a snake patch there on your gator scouts vest yet all right gonna... Jeremy's got his head securely I hope here just grab him right by the no. neck here grab him right there on the neck you don't have no gloves oh he's gonna get me take my glove he's not gonna get I'll you just look here. look I'll just touch his look, I just transferred look look so you're savage right there he's savage. right there can't get you <laughs> can I be an honorary gator scout if I grab him Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Touch his tail. <laughs> wow. Nice one. So if he, if he does bite me, what's the maximum damage? Uh, you'll just bleed a little bit. It'll break skin and you'll bleed a little bit. Your capillaries. That'll be it. Okay. But once all the other snakes smell that blood, oh, you're a goner. Oh. Well, okay, so grab him where now? Right there, right on his neck. Can, he, right needs, there. he can turn around and get me there, right? Nope. Look. I can grab right there, just like you can. See, I'm transferring. Bam. So go ahead, grab right under. I feel like I should grab him behind where you have him. Okay, grab him behind. Maybe Here. Jeremy could hold him Here. closer to Yeah, just let Jeremy him. hold. There you go. Okay. 
All right, now it's gonna constrict around you. Okay, that's fine. There you go. I'm sorry I'm sweating so much. I don't care, Florida. we're in Florida. It's human. I'm gonna give it back to you in a second. You can though. sweat in Florida, however you want. Look guys, look at this. I've done it. This is my first wild snake that I've ever held. So I, I, I like snakes, it's just, I'm, they make me nervous. They, yeah, a, a lot of things make me nervous. Snakes being one of them. Luckily, luckily I have enough experience with uh, handling snakes. Uh, not Florida snakes. That's the issue right now. Not Florida snakes. At least you have to touch them though. Feel how cool. I mean, snake skin is really cool, like a cool feeling. <laughs> she does this to me like. She definitely got her there. Definitely. <laughs> that was bad because, you know, I'm probably going to get bit now. And, it, and I deserve it. So. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? I'm going to let you go back to How did Jeremy. you find him? Oh, was he hanging from the rafters? Look, he's in my pocket. He was up in the rafters. He's in my pocket. And you saw him hanging in the rafters? He was in the rafters. Is that a snake What's in, in your, your pocket? pocket? <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally is. Oh my and God. today the answer is a yes. That is a snake <laughs> in my pocket. All right, I'm going to put him away. Jeremy is so entertaining. You cannot. I'm telling it, you It never stops. I'm going to put him away. I think it's a him. That's a him. How do you know a him? Uh, Robbie taught me. You see the, you see right here. This is, this is the area mm -hmm. where all the urine and poop come out. Yeah. And the longer the tail, that's a male, oh. and the shorter stub, that's a female. So okay. longer is a male. That's okay. gonna be, see, that's, that's gonna be a male, a male right that's there. That's a male. But I'm gonna put him away because right. I might need him to help me find eggs. Yeah. And I gotta follow go, him. I gotta go follow my chicken and find okay. out where her eggs are. Okay, guys. I hope you had as much fun as we did this time at the Hales Ranch. It was pretty amazing. A little bit disappointing, but you know what that means? It just means that there's always a possibility next time that we're gonna find the holy grail of treasure. Did you have fun? I did. I'm, I'm glad with you, mostly. That's that <laughs> mostly. fun. <laughs> I, I'm impressed. Yeah, well, I'm actually a little bit impressed with myself too. It, it, it was a lot of sweat, guys. <laughs> But you know what? We did make a nice little path. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.